If you watch television, if you read the news, if you listen to the news, you have no doubt heard stories of people seemingly disappearing without a trace. You've heard stories of people conning other people. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some of the personality and profile traits of what makes a good con artist. How do you know when someone approaches you on the street if they're telling the truth or if they're not? What I talk about is teaching people how to tune in to their instinct because at the end of the day, whether it's the person that approaches them on the street or a situation that calls for physical defense, it is the instinct that is going to respond, either psychologically or physically. So the best thing we can do is teach people how to become more in tune with their instinct so they can react more realistically in these potentially threatening situations. My name is Detective Jeff McKissick. I work for the Plano Police Department or the Dallas Police Department. Sir, ma'am, we caught some young men and they were trying to break into your car. Now we know it's your car, we saw you get out of it. But they're claiming it's their car, they got locked out, and they were just using the coat hanger to break back inside and get their car keys. So now, sir, now ma'am, we actually have to prove it's your car so we can formalize the arrest. If you happen to have your registration insurance on your person, or is it in your car? Where do you all keep it? In the car. Would you mind following me out so I can simply verify the credentials and put these guys behind bars where they belong? Without a show of a hands, did I get you? Everyone deserves the right to walk the streets in safety. But personal defense is something that's also a personal responsibility. People many times look to law enforcement to be their own personal bodyguards, and they're not. They're there to protect the community as a whole, not us as individuals. And simple math says there'll never be enough police for everyone to have their own personal bodyguard. This is why we have to take responsibility for our own personal safety if we're going to secure our own personal defense. You hear the stories every day of people being victimized, being exploited. What people get from my presentation is that sense of empowerment, is that sense of, wow, yes, this is a problem, but you know what? I can step up to the challenge. I can live a safe life. When someone you just met, who you have no background to, comes up and uses phrases like, trust me, I promise, I give you my word. You just met this person. What do you know is the value of their promise, or their word, or their ability to be trustworthy? It's a basic human instinct to want to trust people. We do. We want to trust people. Criminals know that. So the best way to do it is to literally and verbally tell you, I'm a trustworthy person. Trust me. When that is thrown out from a person you've never met, huge, huge red flag. The instinct is one of the greatest resources that we have if we learn how to properly use it. Learning how to tune into the instinct is what keeps us safe, whether we're dealing with criminals, con artists, predators, or corporate espionage. But we have to learn to tune in to that still small voice that tells us when something just is not right.